In this video, I'm going to solve the set of differential equations under the terms that the vector y of 0 equals 0, 1. Meaning that x of 0 equals 0 and y of 0 equals 1. Solving for dy dt was pretty easy. All I had to do was use separation of variables to find a general solution of y equals ce to the power of negative t. Then solving for y of 0 equals 1, I found that the constant c equals 1, meaning that our final solution for y is e to the power of negative t. Solving for dx dt was a little more difficult, but still pretty doable. Since there was both an x and a y term in there, all I had to do was substitute e to the power of negative t for y, and left me with dx over dt equals 2x plus e to the power of negative t. For this, I used the lucky guess method, or basically the linear method. What I found was that the homogeneous and linear equations only had a difference of e to the power of negative t, so I used the homogeneous equation to start. Once again, I just had to use separation of variables to find the homogeneous part of the solution, and I got that x of h for a general solution is c e to the power of 2t. Next, I rewrote the differential like so, and then assumed that x in this part was e to the power of negative t multiplied by a constant a, because e to the power of negative t is the only function of t that we can see right here. And once I plugged that in for x, I then found that the constant term a, in this case, equals negative one-third. Now that I had the two parts of that solution together, all I had to do now was add them up together to get this general solution for x. Next, all I had to do was solve for x of 0 equals 0 by plugging 0 and 0 into the equation, and left me with the constant c equaling 1 third, which led me to conclude that x equals 1 third e to the power of 2t, minus one-third e to the power of negative t. So it would seem like that because of that, I had my solutions for x and y available. But before I went on, I had to test to see if these worked in the differential equations given at the beginning. First, I started with dy over dt equals negative y. And so I rewrote these as two different equations one for dy dt and one for negative y. Once I plugged y in for both, I got the same answer for both. Negative e to the power of negative t. Check. Next, there was dx dt equals 2x plus y. So I separated those two, and plugging in x and y for both, I got the same answer for both as well. 2 thirds e to the power of 2t plus 1 third e to the power of negative t. Check! Now that I knew that those two solutions do work for those differential equations, I can say that these are solutions for x and y. With all that in mind, I wrote that my final solution to this question was that the vector y equals the following. <laughs> 